Hello, everybody. It's uh, possibly the match of a tournament here. Well, SRP sorry, check going up against Awesome. I'm joined by Val now for this one, this and there are six spectators in here. It's about to pop off, Val. <laughs> yeah, everybody is wanting to spectate this match. I mean, these two teams were probably the two top teams for going to bed, and they're matching up in the round of 16. One of these teams the isn't going to get money, despite having so, so much potential behind them. Oh. Honestly, I think the money is on Holson right now if I, if I had to pick a winner. Yeah, we've seen a couple of struggles, uh, mostly with technicals coming through from SR Peak Jake. Already, though, it's going to be SR Peak Jake who's taking most of the point moving forward. This is dangerous offense. He goes for a big E. The damage is done, but that is going to be, it's going to be low, slightly low on shield. Moving forward is I Remix trying to climb a bunch of space on the point right here, but might be a touch exposed with this position. No big flanks coming up thus far, but Command has been taken up by Sinatra. Oh, the other Punisher is absolutely popping off in this round, managing to find that Luna Snow, the most valuable possible pick, but for maybe the rocket because Luna Snow has been rezzed. Loki's going to expend the shift. That's a huge amount of healing that's going to come through and that's going to be also the rocket buff to give loads of ammo over to the other Punisher but taken down by Saipe. Instantly rezzed and now that's going to be Command falling down again. This should be wholesome first as it's going to just be all of the ultimates. Eye of Agamotto. Fincy's popping off. It's going to be a first point claim but it's very expensive. Kalush just got destroyed by the generation of terrain. Oh wait, Fincy's stuck in the wall. Fincy Oh, no. <laughs> but here we see the difference in uh, styles here. The 3-3 three, three versus the 2-2-2. Two, two, two. The 3-3 three, three with the Loki, you have so much beef just on that point. And it's hard to take it down that they just sustain through everything despite having the, the Hela and the Punisher on the, on the side of also. The Amplified Punisher, unlimited ammo, raised fire rates, just tears through SRP check and with 24% gain. That's going to be SRP check now losing control and having to move through a poke zone against both the other Punisher and Hydron, which is going to really tax their HP. Yeah, I'm going to contradict myself here. I don't care how much beef you have. You go up against an amped up Punisher ultimate, I don't think any HP in the world is going to be able to see through that. We saw them turn through Luna ults earlier with that exact combination. Oh, come on, taking so much damage on the crossing here. Hydron taxing it for sure. Dreedro's like, what? A oh, big Agamotto! What an ult from Fincy! That's three down right away, and you can only res one of them. It's going to be iRemix who receives that one, but Saipo moves forward, just absolutely spamming down with Veloki. What a move from Fincy! What a champion! Remix res and immediately just turned around and was just like, nah, I'm out of here, fam. <laughs> I'm dipping, bro. <laughs> But yeah, oh my god, the, the absolute balls on this man to just go over the wall like that and just be like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win this match for my team. And as we see now, anchoring on this point with the 3-3, with the three, three, it's gonna be a lot harder, I think, to, to move in with when they don't have the ult. But they do have the ults on the side of Wholesome Group. However, Doge on the other side can eat up a bunch of damage coming through from that Punisher using their own ult, if that's going to be the play that's made. However, to begin with, it's just going to be regular Punisher damage. Here comes Biceps, huge amount of it, damage being used. Yep, there it is! There it is! It's totally slammed down by Asteroid M still. It's going to be a kill, rezzed up easily here. And that's going to be yet another wipe here for the side of Wholesome. Hydra might even get uh, staggered here as they move out towards the edge. We're hoping to reset off the edge, there's an invisible wall there. And now, it looks like it's almost one fight territory here for SRP yeah, for, Jack. For those who may be unaware, when uh, Magneto hits his ultimate, he kind of sucks any, any sort of shot fired, or it, even the rocket healing orbs into his vault, and it makes it more powerful And the longer you charge it up. So, as soon as as soon as soon uh, they saw the Punisher hit Q, he hit Q, countered it, and just lobbed it in the team, got that down. Oh, Kluge caught in a wall for a moment. That's another huge Oh, he gets three Fincy. more! My goodness, Fincy is absolutely strange gapping right now. Hydron has actually invested in this fight, but taken down at a distance. That's going to be another group ult coming in. And, well, the Punisher is just overwhelmed. This could be it for the round. And I think that it might well be just wholesome saving these ultimates for the, la for the next fight, maybe. Kaluge surely can't use his ultimate here. It'd be such an in... Yeah. They're just going to save this yeah. one. Economic damage is too much. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to. And even that, you don't even really want to trickle it in because you don't want to feed that ult charge over for the next round either. But Hydration is going to clone in here. And I don't think that's a great idea. Gives over a little bit more. Resurrection is going to be used. And that's going to be <coughs> SR Peak Check taking the first sub map of our conquest. Yeah, somebody's been visiting the optician lately because these eyes from Fancy are just. Spectacular, perfect 2020 vision. Peak eye, baby. Peak eye. Peak eyeballs.
It's just an I diff. <laughs> Vowel diff, baby. Oh, and you know what? It, it really feels like Doge keeping a hold of this ultimate. Like, it's all you're really ever going to use the Asteroid M for. Just use it for dealing with the Punisher ultimate, eating all of that incoming damage and turning it into danger for that backline. Because one of the things when you've only got these two tanks and you decide to go for 2-2-2, your mitigation technique for the... Uh, for the Magneto ult is very limited. It's got to be Doctor Strange with a shield, and you usually want your Doctor Strange to be brawling. Yeah, and and if you do that, then you've got to have everybody kind of hiding behind the Doctor Strange shield. Guess what? The other five members of the team can just shoot that Strange shield down and break it down. Now, all of a sudden, you're just sitting ducks. But I would I would not be surprised if you saw Portal here from Holden. I think we saw them doing that earlier in the game. both teams. I think got a Portal high ground looks like it. Yeah, Kalu's like, they're going to be a lot more brazen with their own Portal. As of course, there's an ult advantage going into this one for the side of Wholesome. It looks like it's just a bit of a map flip here. Both teams also, thinking the same they, thing. They were both trying to get the other team back. Indeed so. For now, looking for Kalush to try and find themselves an angle. Doesn't want to overcommit too early. Of course, using the regular strange technique. Nice hella orb there. Does get a quick stun off onto Fincy. Yeah, and we saw this earlier in the day. Sinatra and Space kind of hitting up on that high ground. The Rocket and Punisher combo. Just having that unlimited ammo, that extra fire rate, and on the high ground just makes it very, very tough to look them out. And they can put a lot of pressure on this point. As we're seeing here, the high ground is on the group getting the advantage. An exchange of amplifiers here. The Punisher coming close to the ultimate could be counted out by Doge Biceps right now. Not feeling so much of a pressure to try and make this one work. Here it is. That means Doge Biceps likely going to get the Asteroid M. Here it is. Big damage eaten up. Straight into the Strange Shield though. Maybe not the ideal because now Sinatra can just freely fire with this ultimate and do too much damage. A bubble given over. Keeps Doctor Strange alive for but a moment. But it's going to be a while before Doge has maximum efficacy back on this ultimate. Hydron up into the air with the LC-130. Raining fire from above. That's a huge amount of damage onto Fincy. Can the healers keep up with three of them? You better believe it. Another big Ilo! It's two! From Fincy. He's just so fucking good at it. You cannot contain this man. Powers given over. Hydration gets for Luna Snow Walt. Starts dancing. Tip tap and hoping to try and make this work. Is there still no cap here? The pressure is in the, is in the advantage of Holson. Looks Holson's. like Holson's favor, but... I think it's about to switch over as space goes down. Hydron's also really low. And they're fine. And SRP is able to push in here, especially LH Cloudy. Really getting those good rolls, but Kalu with a big eye. Oh, Fincy shielded, not enough. Doge gonna be the next to fall on down, even with space out of here. Still, Fincy is resable, and we're still getting taps here from SRP Jack to not give over that early, easy hope. This is this is giving me flashbacks of a certain other hero shooter. Where it's gonna take about four minutes before we get a first half. Oh, Cypher. Absolutely owning with the judge, jury, and executioner. This might finally go the way of SRP check. That was like a two minute, three minute first fight. That was about a three minute fight. Oh my goodness. But now they have the big advantage that they need. This 3 3 composition, if they get hold of the point, it's very hard, as we saw last time, to dislodge them off, especially when they have the ult advantage like they do here with Doge. Just, he's just waiting for Sonata to hit that Q and he's just like, I'm just gonna counter Q all that long, I don't care. Yeah, last time Dojo only managed to hit the strange shield with this one. Maybe can hold on to it for a touch longer and find a better <laughs> ultimate. Here we go, Doge biceps waiting for about a moment, it's amplified. There it is. Starts gathering up the Asteroid M, looking for a target, wants the Punisher, does get him low, but can't quite finish it as Cloudy's fallen down, the damage was too much for even three supports to get through. On the other side, oh, is that two. a three-man? No, it's a two-man, I have Akimoto. The follow-up's not there, though. There is enough resource to try and make this work. Hydron goes sky high, not actually going that high, but putting down a huge amount of damage onto Cypher, even while Invisible Hydron knows your tricks, knows your games, and is absolutely clued in as to the location. Hydration, gonna probably hold on to this ultimate here, feeling that there's blood in the water. But all of this time, remember, Sinatra's fallen down. Doge manages to find the ideal play. There's the eye of Agamotto. I don't think I actually grabbed anyone. I don't Good think I got anybody, yeah. coming through. Oh, Kalu's but this Loki shit. This. The totems are all over the place. And now, even if we see this, the advantage going over towards Holson, this fight's been for so long that it's, it's... Oh my god, no, it's switching back over. SRP check. And I now... 
Volta has to get out if they uh, want to get another like actual fight. Big goal as well for my remix. And remember, the next stop is must win. Otherwise, the map is going the way of SR. Peak check. Wholesome are feeling the pressure right now. Early poke coming through. That's a big crew. Oh, everybody's oh, in. Sinatra. And there goes Sinatra. The resurrection. Surely it can come on through. If not, it's going to be I remix who grabs it. Look at the pressure coming through. No push room yourself to breathe. Forward. No quarter given. Down to the floor goes Kaluj. You can't take the one versus three. Surely doing their best to make it happen. That's going to be an amplifier given over right there. And yes, it forces out the low key. But can anyone even touch? Everyone's so slow. It is going to be the Luna Snow Owl. I think that's going to be a copy coming through from Hydration. Just dancing for their life. Keeping it alive. Magneto Ultimate coming through. Looking for someone low. Sinatra could be quick. Melee here is dodging, ducking, diving, weaving. And it's going to be enough healing to try and make this happen. And I have Agamotto in the back. Oh, that eye gets quickly. Managed to get Saipe. And might well get Command as well. This could have been turned around at the last moment. And Sinatra's going to have a chance to try and make it work. So close. And that's going to be the buff up. Judge, jury, executioner. And this could be the turnaround they've been looking for. Cloudy will be able to I don't know, this 3-3 cut goes really sturdy. They're able to see if they can... Whoa, oh, the explosion! No, they cloudy through the hole. It could, could be a good enough turnaround, though. They have been rezzed on up. Command, keeping everyone here. Hydron takes to the sky, needs to find a target who is going to be workable to work with this. Now, another swap around. Cypher gets for a second Lunar Snow Owl. Unbelievable heals coming through, but those biceps was missed right there. Not great management of the Lunar Snow Ultimate, and it finally flips. Now we're in for the long haul. Yeah. Fancy, though, another Agamotto item that's anything like we've seen from earlier in this oh. map. He's going to hit a big one here. But the question is, do they have the follow-up? We saw a couple big alts with zero follow-up earlier in this. If the fights are anything like they've been earlier, you have to win this fight, because otherwise you're going to be in match fight territory immediately. Fincy has a portal. It's going to start thinking about it. How to play this with the Eye of Agamotto. Who do you want to go on? The answer is obviously Space. The only one who cannot be raised. Oh, Saipe, though, being sneaky. Tracking the movements. They want space desperately. Fincy's taking the off angle. Can't find the raccoon. Has lost the rocket. And now the rest of the team without the Doctor Strange. Like has held them. There's all the information needed. Oh, it's exactly who they wanted. Sinatra is found. And indeed, they are taken down. The resurrection is going to be quick, though. Unable to stop it. Needed to reload. Now Fincy is in a delicate position going up against this shotgun. Sinatra needs to be finished. And while it is going to be done via the E, I think the damage might well have been done. Space was down the amplifier. Asteroid M hits the ground, doesn't hit anything in terms of killing blows, and now Command has to make a choice. Am I going to invest my ultimate in this one? Is it winnable enough to try and make this work? And for now, an E used. LH Cloudy kept alive. Kaluge still hunkering down on the point, and guess who has returned? The Punisher is back and has been buffed on up. Still with an ultimate to play with, and the ultimate's been deployed. Command decides to bring it out. Sinatra's taking a good amount of damage, but not enough to keep them at bay for the moment. Command keeps everyone alive, but a moment longer, and maybe everything's going to come down to Saipei now. Manages to avoid Hydron. Can they get the 1v1 here? Hydron might have overplayed this one. Saipei gets the uh -oh. pick. Uh -oh. Unbelievable. Uh -oh. Saipei's gone. Oh, space at range. He's going to get raised on up. It's all working out here as Hydration has given over Luna Snow Owl. It's one fight to rule them all. Cloudy's got themselves an ult to try and play oh, with. Oh, Kaluj! ult is good, but Kaluj's ult is better. Drags everybody in. Fincy's gone down. It's mostly Loki's in there, and the totems are enough to keep them healed on up. From 99 to 0 goes 100 to 99. This is surely going to be wholesome going one-to-one. -one. SR Peak Check a little too overconfident when they had that 99 to 0 pushed up a little too far. And Hydration able to buy time with the copy into the Luna Snow Alt, getting Kaluj on there. And as we saw, once they get Kaluj on there with those big eyes of Akimoto. And that's what it's coming down to, basically. Is we saw Fitzy have real good eyes on map one. Kaluj had better eyes on map two. And so I think that's what we really need to pay attention to on the third map. It's just who can get around the, the other strange shield into the back line because that's that's what you're going for you're not trying to you're not trying to stun the, the other part no you need to get into that back line and you need to let your big damage dealers get onto their supports yeah you're playing for maneuvers it's got to be done Fincy is going to have an advantage on the ultimate here. Question is, how much can be done to try and facilitate it? They really want to get that solo stun onto space. But remember, space has the evasion with two charges of rocket pack to try and avoid that. Yeah, you've really got to be sneaky with these. Like, you know, you can't telegraph it at all. Otherwise, they're going to bail out. They're going to have a strange shield in the way. You know, they're going to fade out. 
It looks like we're not going to see a TP. Kalujas, though. Yeah, only one TP was uh, available. Of, uh, SRP, sorry. Yeah, only one TP was available. And this means advanced positioning here for both of those hit scans. That means m moving in is very dangerous. Multiple here it comes, damage. here it comes. They got space, but can they finish him? Yes, they can. Fincy gets exactly who they wanted. Can't be rezzed by your own one, but now Hydron needs to be burned, and indeed he is. Good turning there from the side of SRP. Check quickly getting rid of that Hella. But now, early cat progress here. We've seen just how long these fights can go when you've got three tanks and Fincy can't touch it in time. Sinatra's going to be able to play from the other side. My goodness, the long-range poke from Saipei. <laughs> that collection of Lokis is more than enough to make it work. And this could be enough pressure to try and flip the point now as Hydron is feeling Fincy's approach. Fincy can't quite hit the yeah, shot. Cloudy needs to try to wall them off. You need to push them off a little bit and then make it so that the walls don't allow them to get back on. But Remix doing an excellent job avoiding the pace of force that Cloudy has put on the point. Oh, what a wall! What a wall for Dodge Cloudy! And then the follow up as well. The peel from Doge Biceps. They will do anything to keep this Rocket Raccoon alive. And indeed, they've managed to do so. Is Sinatra brave enough to try and make this happen? Indeed it is. Brings out the ultimate wall. Is erected in front of him. That's going to be... Oh, so much damage! What a play from the... Oh! Kaluj gets Fincy, yes. But the focus fire from SRP check is just enough. Maybe they can turn it around. But guess what? It's still one of the Doctor Strangers who's keeping it locked down on this point. An attempt to overwhelm coming through from Doge. But the pocket healing is so much to try and deal with. Space rolls on in. 50% might be all that they get. But look how evasive this little cut is. Oh, the X drop staggered up, getting an extra 10, 15% out of collusion and space there might be just the difference they need in just extra long fights when every person in the point matters. But oh, Doge. That's yeah. gonna slow down that push quite a bit. They got it. You gotta go back. You cannot try to push in 5v6 in any of these matches. This isn't quick play, folks. This is top tier for our rivals right here. Yeah, this is the top of the top. You don't get better than this. Two ultimates available. Three now, but Fincy has theirs. I'm really looking to see what Fincy's cooking. It's been a constant theme of this matchup. How do you play around the shield? Nice block of a grit up there from Fincy. Very much on top of things. Trying to play from up high is noted for now, so doesn't have the element of surprise. Is he going to try to drop down with the eye? Oh, I think Kaluj blocked it. Beautiful play and straight into a Punisher's shotgun. Oh, there's a back cap coming through as well. There's a swap by Hydra. Hydra on a point. Makes it happen and gets to pick on Trejo. Absolutely magical blaze from Hydron. The Hella gets it all done, and there's even more to come as the damage just pours on out of the Hella. Well done, Hydron. Just kind of see the point of a rocket versus Ella. No way this rocket ever win that fight. Got my classic matchup. Swap, and now the free percentage point racking over here, and this is. This is last fight for, for SRP chicks, they don't win. I'd love to see uh, the Punisher use his ult by himself here without the Amplifier to try and force out the Asteroid M. We'll see if it's going to be the oh, case. Oh, Fincy down early! Oh, Fincy being down early. That is going to be the Resurrection forced out. Here's the Eyeball! Eyeball given, eyeball oh, found, you. and all I see is death and blue. Yeah, Command might have been raised, but there ain't no way you're getting to a point in time for this one. It would be a mad dash to try and make it work, and you've still got to deal with the judge, the jury, and the executioner. Wholesome are surely going to take this one, as there's no overtime, there's no eulogy, there is only victory for Wholesome. What a phenomenal move by Hydron. They're flipping the point and getting... Just completely changing the momentum of that fight from 50 50 to 60 40 in favor of Wholesome there. And then from there, it was just the rest of the map.